With you, I can't be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. With you, I wanna stay with you. Hey guys, uh, we got another video here for our. Uh, 212 cc predator uh, chipper shedder that we picked up from uh, Harbor Freight uh, In the interest of time what I went ahead and did was I got some grease Whenever you put these things together, especially something like this uh, You want to make sure you put some grease in Side the, the more or less bushings on the, the tires also you can see we uh, put some grease on the shafts as well Make sure when you install the tires, there's a wide side and a narrow side. This narrow side is going to go towards the outside because this white side, wide side in the back is going to go up against the brake. So, very simple. You slide it on there. I say slide it on there. There it goes. It's taking a while. There it goes. All right, see? It just slides right on there. All right? Kind of slides right on there. It takes a little bit of effort. All right, remember I said white side in. Make sure you... Ah. Yeah, they're pretty tight. I don't know, maybe with the paint, whatever. Just make sure that the shaft is actually sticking out. All right? Then we've got uh, oop, got stuff in the grass. We've got two cotter keys here and two flat washers, large flat washers. Stick those on there. Stick the cotter key inside, like Sue. So. Same thing on the other side. All right. Now uh, we've got everything greased. We got everything installed. So what we're going to do here is just find the. Uh, we're going to turn that towards the upside. Just grab the long end of the cotter key and just twist it up a little bit, just like that. That way you don't have to worry about it going anywhere. Same thing over here. All right. Boom, simple as that. Tires are a little low. We'll air them up in a little bit. All right, we're going to take a little break to uh, get ready for this, for the next part. So stand by for a few minutes, and we'll be right back. Okay, uh, next part is go we'll by the destructions. Take these little uh, M6 16 millimeter bolts from the inside out. All them. There we go. This thing is a pain with one person, but I'll figure it out. All right. Now stick the bolt through. both sides just like that all right now let's install the put a little pressure down against it so the bolt don't pop out and install the nuts One set, same thing. Uh, it's a little hard to reach in here inside the uh, hopper, but uh, still do it. It's not that big a deal. All right. So we got two on this side. So you don't you don't see all of it, but you, you get the gist. In between the rooster squawking, 
All right, so there you go. Just uh, install those on there. Take our uh, little nifty difty uh, all sixteenths here. Or for you guys overseas, all millimeters. Just tighten these bad boys down. They got nylocks locks on the nuts. So you don't have to worry about them coming loose. Just snug them up good. Good thing is, you know, for the most part, this thing is, you know, comes pretty much assembled. I mean, you got to do a, a little work on it. Now, the uh, price for this thing uh, at the store online was $600. So, we put it on our wish list in uh, Harbor Freight, and they sent us a $100 off coupon. So if you really want something, put it in your wish list, and uh, you know when it comes sale time, they'll you know give you a coupon for so much of a percentage off. Or in this case, we got a hundred dollars off. So it only cost five hundred bucks. All right. Now we got that much. We got the wheels and the handle. We're going to take a break, read some more destructions, and move on to the next part. See you in a few. Okay, guys, we're back. A little more studying and thunking. So we've got our stand for this thing. So just brace it up against the box. Take your large bolt, stick that in. And you take your uh, shock absorbers and a washer and stick them in. Then you're going to take a flat, a lock, and a nylock, which I don't really know why they're doing that, and put them on the top. Really kind of redundant to put a lock washer on something when it's already got a nylock in it. Any of you folks that are mechanically inclined, you know that's uh, kind of silly, kind of redundant, but what in the world? So, the same length. Ah, oh, well they would be if I would put all the parts in there. Alright. Okay, get in there. Well, that's kind of weird. Uh, that was actually a little shorter. Alright, we're going to take another break. I missed something. Okay, we're back. Just double checking. Uh, your piece down here is built up a little bit, and that's why it's a little longer on one side in the back than it is in the front. So, oops, I dropped that one. Alright, put a little pressure on it. Put a flat, a lock, and a nylock on here. to make sure that it stays, you know. Okay. Same thing on the back that I I forgot. Flat. Lock. And then lock. And then just get it threaded in there to get it started. Somehow. And they just don't want to cooperate. All right, we got one more. So remember, uh, bolt. And your bushing in your flat. And on top, flat lock. And you make. Nylock. Now, let's get my stuff here and see how much trouble this thing's going to be to pump 
it down especially when you don't have it going the right way there we go hmm. you don't want to crank down on these too much otherwise you're gonna push your boot bushings So from the looks of it, there's probably a torque setting on that. Basically what I would suggest is just make sure that your threads are through the nylon. And that you got just a little bit of pressure on it. Alright, you don't want to smash your nylock too much otherwise you're uh, you're defeating the purpose of the what in the world Got a funky head on this bolt it's uh <laughs> how about that the head on the bolt is the wrong size all right It's a flat on top, right? Yeah. 53 is the shock absorber. 54 is the flat washer. Yep. Okay. Uh, how about that? I've got one bolt here who has a, a funky size head on it. So, uh, that happens sometimes with... Uh, metric bolts so we're going to have to do this one by hand well, these like that sometimes huh honestly I think it'd be a good idea for you to get extra flat washer maybe and put up underneath of these. Alright, it's starting to tighten up a little bit. These bushings needed to be a little tougher. Alright. Alright guys. Uh, other than a few little difficulties, uh, that's pretty much it for the assembly of this thing. As you can see, like I said, most of it's already assembled. Uh, now what we're going to have to do is uh, double check and, and make sure we got oil in it and everything. And I guess we'll do that on the the actual uh, running and review itself, but. There you go guys, that's how you uh, assemble your uh, Predator 212 Shipper Shredder from uh, Harbor Freight. Uh, like and subscribe if you have any questions, put them down below. We'll uh, try to help you out with those. Other than that, that's all for now. Take care, see you, bye.